Hi everyone, I'm Michael Krulik with Avid's Market Solutions, and I want to take you through the latest developments with Avid Titler Plus. Now the work that we've recently done centers around better performance, stability, and usability. So let's jump in and start with some of the UI basics to get you familiar with Avid Titler Plus. Now I'm going to start off by mentioning that when you create a title using Avid Titler Plus, it is an effect rather than media that's created uh, like in the old Avid Title Tool. Now, the nice thing about having it as an effect is you'll be able to use the effect editor to actually make some really fine adjustments and modifications to your title when you are creating them. Now, I do have a second track of video here. I'm going to mark a region on the sequence where I want to drop in just a simple title. In the heart of Wanderlust. And I select the Avid Titler Plus button, or that could be mapped to a key, and it brings up the Avid Titler Plus dashboard and the effect editor as well. Now, uh, typically, I don't like to have the source and record open in my composer window while I'm creating a title. I'd like more real estate. So I'm going to go into single monitor mode. Now I have a larger record monitor to be able to create my title. Now by default, the text tool is active. Here are the tools on the left side here. I do want to mention that if you turn off the dashboard, those tools are still available now in the effect editor. So I could type, I could move, I could add shapes, or I could select up here to choose to bring back the dashboard. And in the settings menu under the effects editor, the option to open the dashboard automatically when you open up the effect editor with the Avid Titler Plus. So just like any, practically any setting in Media Composer, you can choose how you wanna have the interface react. So you can open up the dashboard automatically if you want or not, totally up to you. Customize it any way you'd like. Now the dashboard, you probably could do about 80 or 90% of your actual title creation right here. I'm in the text tool, I click inside of the record monitor, and I type my text. Now, immediately, when you are typing your text, you're gonna see a big boost in performance and ballistics when using the recent release of Avid Titler Plus. When I select off of the text box, it moves me right to the move tool where I can take that text box and move it anywhere on my video. Again, these are the tools, that simple text tool, move, simple shapes, changing the layered position, moving it up or back, depending on where you want it placed, grouping and also choosing the layer and bringing up a video safe and title safe grid. And here is the font section. So if you'd like to change the font style, you can simply select here. Let's say I want to go to Avid's, uh, choose Avid's font. I want to change the size of the font. Now you'll notice I could click and actually manually type in a value to change the size. Now I could actually grab the corners of the bounding box or the text box to also change the size. So by choosing a corner and holding down a modifier, which in this case is the shift key, and as I change the size of the box, the font size will change too. If I don't hold down the modifier, that actually changes the size of the text box where the text will wrap inside. Or if I hover over the size, you're gonna get a double arrow which means I can click and slide back and forth to change the value of the size visually. You also have within the text box, left, center, or right justification, depending on where you want the placement. And also you have an anchor point. The anchor point right here is where, of course, you're doing any sort of rotation. The anchor point is where the point of rotation actually takes place. Now that anchor point can move, you could actually manually grab it and move it. Or I could actually go into the effect editor and I have this layer selected. So selected object, I'm gonna go inside there and under transform, I'm gonna change the position of the anchor point anywhere in the text box by simply moving it in the pull down menu. So now it is center, 
we can go in and kern the text. And I want to go ahead and change the value there. We could change letting if there's multiple lines. And we can even skew it as well. So again, you will definitely see a boost in the performance when you are making any changes and modifications to the titles with the latest version of Avid Titler Plus. Now beyond the font section, we have the transformation section. That allows me to do things like change the opacity of the uh, text inside of the bounding box, changing the position, which could be done here, or you could do it right in the effect editor. Rotation, of course, takes place at the anchor point. And we also have the alignment horizontally or vertically. So I can choose left, center, right, top, center, bottom. So we could easily center our text in the middle of the video or we could actually move it to any side by just simply clicking the alignment. Now, if you would prefer to have it aligned to title safe, if you bring up the grid and select left, you'll notice that it instantly goes to the title safe area of the video. If I click again, it takes me all the way to the end of the video. So again, choosing where you want it to be placed, fast and easy with the grid on or off. The style section right here allows me to go in and modify things like the fill style, fill color, simple click, change the color of the text. If I want to add an outline, I simply enable it. Let's change the color of the outline to be maybe a nice purple. Change the width or the size, simply click and slide. And again, you can see how interactive and easy it is to make those changes to your title. I'm going to go ahead and add a drop shadow. Let's remove the outline. I want to change the size. Now, I really like this font. I like the look. Uh, I want to save that. So I'm going to bring up a new bin that I want to save my font into. So again, this is an effect. If you're familiar with Avid Media Composer, you know that any effect that you create can be simply dragged from the effect editor to a bin and that is saved to be used at any time that you would like. Now the nice thing about the Avid Titler Plus effect is if I go to frame mode, you actually get an actual representation of your title that you can visually see and know title you may want to actually drag and drop into your sequence for you know a multiple look for a lower third or anything that you want to duplicate when adding it to your sequence. So let's say a little bit down into my sequence here, I want to add hand in hand. They explore unknown lands. Hand in hand. So I want to use this exact same look right here in my sequence. We'll drag that there. I'm going to right click and go to edit title. It takes me back into Avid Titler Plus. I'm going to double click and you'll see that it highlights that word. Now, if I only want to change part of it, I could actually wipe across just multiple letters. If I want to change just the kerning on those, you can see that I can modify those. But I actually want to change the entire text box to be hand in hand. And maybe for a different look, I'd like to turn off the fill and turn on the outline. The outline, we want that to be white. And you can see even the drop shadow uses the properties of the outline to even highlight it even more. I want to save that. Simply drag that to my bin, and you'll see that the new title is saved right there. So you could create an entire library of titles that you want to save and reuse. Here I have a title, The Heart of Wanderlust. In the heart of Wanderlust, love finds its grace. Well, I wanted to provide a basic overview of Avid Titler Plus and how to navigate the UI and uh, just create a basic title. But there is so much more to the software. 
where you can go in, create lower thirds, create them once and apply them across your entire sequence, and then go in and modify them as necessary. Slates, uh, any sort of comments or any sort of notations for VFX, and credit rolls. So look for more videos soon that actually will cover all of the aspects of Avid Titler Plus. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you again soon.